awareness the key to living in balance everyone has experienced moments of awakening when time seems to stop and you are suddenly aware of every moment every sound and every thought awareness is the key to being self directed centered and free in every aspect of our life we start from the center one thing to be understood is that Silence is not part of the mind. So whatsoever we say, someone has a silent mind. It is all nonsense. A mind can never be silent. The very nature of the mind is noise. Mind is anti-silence. Mind is sound. not silence so when we say he has a silent mind it is erroneous if he is really silent then we must say that he has no mind a silent mind is a contradiction in terms it is like saying there is silent noise if mind is there it can never be silent and if it is silent then it is no mood that is why zen monks use the term no mind they never say silent mind no mind is silence and the moment there is no mind you cannot feel your body because mind is the passage through which body is felt emotions are felt if there is no mind you cannot feel that you are a body the body disappears from consciousness so in prayer there is neither mind nor body there is only pure existence if the mind exists and body exists then you are not prayerful prayer is the state of the disappearance of the body and mind there is only pure existence that pure existence is indicated by silence maun maun is the hindi word for silence to attain to this silence or serenity is prayer how to attain to this prayer to this silence how to be in this prayer in this silence whatsoever you do will be useless that is the greatest problem for a religious seeker this is the greatest problem because whatsoever he can do will lead nowhere remember doing is not relevant you can sit in a particular posture that is your doing you must have seen buddha's posture you can sit in that posture and that will be doing for you for buddha himself this posture happened naturally and spontaneously it was not a cause for his silence instead it was a by product of his silence when buddha became silent he attained to that posture therefore this posture that we call buddha posture is not the cause for his silence instead it was a by product of his inner silence when the mind is not 
When the being is totally silent, the body follows like a shadow. The body takes a particular posture, the most relaxed possible, the most passive possible, but you cannot do otherwise. You cannot take a posture first and then make silence follow. Because we see a Buddha sitting in a particular posture, we think that if this posture is followed, then the inner silence will happen. We think that if this posture is followed, then the inner silence will follow. This is wrong sequence. For Buddha, the inner phenomena happen first and then his posture followed. Look at it through your own experience. When you are angry, the body takes a particular posture. Your eyes become blood red. Your facial expression changes. Anger is inside and then the body follows. Not only outwardly, inwardly too, change takes place. When anger grips you, when your whole chemistry of the body changes, your blood runs fast, your breath, you breathe in a different way, you are ready to fight or take the revenge. But the anger happens first and then the body follows it. Start from the other pole. Make your eyes red. Create a breathing and do whatsoever. And do whatsoever you feel is done by the body in the moments when anger grips you. You can act but you cannot create anger within. An actor is doing the same every moment. When he is acting a role of love, he is doing whatsoever is done by the body when love happens inside. But there is no love really. The actor may be doing better than you, but love will not follow. He will be more apparently angry, then you are in real anger, but it is just false, nothing is happening inside. Whenever you start from without, you will create a false state. The real always happens first at the center and then the waves reach to the shore, the periphery. This is why the Sutra says prayer is silence. The innermost center is in prayer. Therefore, start from there. Start from your innermost core, innermost center.